Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really good question. But I think that's, again, where you have to put boundaries because prior to COVID, we would all drive into the office and then we'd have our meetings start, you know, beginning of the day or an end at the end of the day. And you would go home and you wouldn't be expected to have meetings for, for the most part once you got home. So I think we've just meandered into a world of, you know, if you're, especially if you're in a global company and you're now, you know, having to take a, a call from the UK at six in the morning, you just need to take it and then you've got to drive to work. So I think it's about communicating with your, your company and your leadership that, you know, these are the hours that you can adhere to and this is the schedule you can work. And sometimes you do have to take an early morning meeting, but then you shouldn't have to work late at night as well. So it's about boundaries because if, if you take the monkey, it's going to be yours forever. So you've got to put those boundaries there and you've got to say, this is my working hours. This is what I can accomplish. And anything more than that, we have to have a, a, a talk about resources. And I, I think what I've experienced as well is there's been a gradual shift from leadership in a lot of companies that it just meanders into, you have to come back to the office now, it's mandatory. There's very little direct communication about the company has now decided to go back to full-time in office or full-time hybrid schedule, whatever it is. It just kind of you know makes the rounds in the rumor mill and everybody just does that so i think it's leadership's responsibility to say exactly what the what culture they're trying to build um, make sure the structure follows that strategy and then everybody is very clear what their working hours are what the resources are and and how they can get their job done otherwise it is you're right you're going to end up with burnout and you're going to end up with unhappy employees who will call mike and look for another job <laughs>